Dude, I didn't even know you could kick a coach out of a hockey game. Yeah, but the real question is, was it off of a face-off? Because he could get the instigator. Leafs lose 4-1 to to the Tampa Bay Lightning, and that stings, not just because it's the Lightning and they stink, but it was my birthday. That's right, I turned 21 on Thursday, meaning Jamal Mayer should have got a hat trick. It's your number, Jamal! But hey, that's a huge present for Tank Nation. Aren't you guys happy the Leafs lost to the Lightning? And I'm not saying I'm a member of Tank Nation. I'm certainly not. But when they went on a win streak a couple weeks ago, I went, yes, awesome, winning. But then I looked at the standings. Oh, wow, they made it all the way up to 11th. And they're still nine points back. Can it be next season yet? Can we just draft Braden Shander, John Tavares, or Superman? I don't even care. We'll sign Dr. Manhattan as a free agent. Watchman reference. Nice. That would be awesome. He could just stop the puck like, hmm. Then again, he would be kind of a weird guy to have as a teammate. Whoa, that was a sweet goal you had, Dr. Manhattan. Goals are a quantitative subject. The quality is irrelevant. Okay, okay, sorry. That's enough off-topic stuff. Enough stuff about my birthday. Whatever. Anyway... The Leafs' offense has been really cold lately. Just like the weather. As indicated on my new iPod Touch! W w would you like me to tell you the weather for the rest of the week? I can do that too. Anyway, okay. So the Leafs go down in what was a chippy affair, especially towards the end, and most of the talk around the game, other than uh, the Ron Wilson incident, seemed to revolve around Ben Andres versus Evgeny Artukin, although that never really happened. Which leads me to my question of the game, because Ben Andres said, oh, well, maybe if you beat the crap out of this guy, it doesn't happen again. And Ben Andres brings up a good point about fighting, because it's sort of like a vigilante justice code thing between players. And even though I disagree with fighting, I don't think it'll be in the game for the long run, but I, I get it. Because it seemed to me Andres and Ron Wilson, and I guess the whole Leafs bench, were getting mad at the non-calls with Tampa, and so they were going to settle matters with a scrap. Which finally brings me to the question, uh, would fights decrease if refs uh, didn't suck? Because that's the point, isn't it? Because the thought process seems to be, okay, this guy is spearing me, all right, he's putting a stick between his legs, look over at the ref, no call, drop him. So if officials did magically develop some sort of crazy Dr. Manhattan way of detecting every single penalty on the ice, would fights go? And I want to see a video response. And then to the second half of that story, Ron Wilson gets kicked out of the game for saying, I don't know what to the referee. That could be my second question to you. Do you guys like this side of Ron Wilson? Because you could take it a couple different ways. There's, he, you know, he's getting mad because he's passionate and he just has this desire to win or you could say well he's letting his anger cloud his judgment and third question because i can and it's my birthday what are your thoughts on martin gerbet so far that's not how you say it that's it for this game the Leafs lose four to one to the tampa bay lightning guys uh once again i gotta thank you all so much for all of your birthday wishes it was really nice to you guys enjoy your friday the 13th Ooh. see you next time